PLC Network here. This is James Rurenick here. Uh, just pointing out something that Tesla, unfortunately, has enabled here, which is this. Um, there's a lot of noise that comes from the windows in these vehicles. And when you point it out to the service center, uh, they take you down 35 mile hour, hour uh, or 35 mile per hour streets and say, I can't hear a thing. Um, and I'm not doing this against them. They just said, uh, you know, you have to capture it and record it somehow. So figure might as well take it that extra step. It seems to be coming from the upper corner here more than anything else. As you scan down the window, you don't really hear it. But when you get up to here, it's more than obvious that there is a lot of wind coming through the window of this vehicle. And uh, it's far beyond anything you would expect from any vehicle regardless of it having an engine or not. So it's just something to point out. So that way, now we have audio proof. Again, cooler right up here is where it seems to be leaking, coming through the uh, the molding, apparently, where the window meets the molding up there in the car, where the window meets the molding. Yeah, let's we'll just say that. Uh, lots of noise. It's annoying, especially at higher speeds and long, long trips, uh, especially when you can't hear the radio or what if you're listening to a comedy or a podcast or something, you got to crank the volume just to hear what's being said because this wind will drown everything out. So, again, uh, I've driven a Honda Civic that's quieter than this car, and uh, my Mercury was quieter than this car. <laughs> everything is quieter than this car when it comes to comparisons to this wind noise. So now we have audio proof. Signing out.